Hey everyone, welcome back to another Storefront UI tutorial. Uh, we have Jacob from S View Storefront with us today, and we're going to be talking about how to add new colors to your Storefront UI project. So colors are divided up into two essential categories. You have your, inter your internal colors and your theme colors. So when you start off your, with your design file, this is what you're going to get from your designer. And on the right here on the right side of the colors and typography panel, you're going to have your internal color map where your designer will have added the new internal colors to use. Ideally, these names will be different from what the base map uses internally so that there's no conflict. And then once you get those, you're going to see uh, visually exactly where to map those in your primary and secondary colors using the C primary and C secondary variables. Uh, now to see how we get, we're going to implement this in our code exactly, uh, Jacob's going to take it away. OK, cool. Thanks. So first of all, I will shrink the screen to have more uh, visual um, on the code. And here uh, we have the project which is based on Vue.js, Vue tool, and another project which, which is based on Next. So going to the first project, it is a very simple Vue tool project. We have app.view component. I added here a home component that is available from docs, store, from Storefront UI docs. So you can copy paste it if you like. So for now, what you see here is that we have uh, like the green colors for the main accent on the page. And let's say that we want to change it. So what we do here is we are importing Storefront UI view styles. And then inside the uh, app hash attack app uh, element, we are adding this C primary as a new blue value. So when we reload the page, you will see that the colors have changed. And this is one approach. And the approach uh, that we do not, do not recommend purely because when you see here, we have a subscribe button. And look what happens when I click over it. You will see that the uh, active styling for a button is quite different. It's green because it still has the variant green for like the button clicked. So what we recommend in this uh, way is to not use C primary directly, but to use these three mixings. First one, which is called generate color variants, will uh, generate new color variants based on the color that we will provide to it. So in this case, it will be like this shade of blue. And we assign it to the name C blue primary. Then what we do is we are assigning color variants with C blue primary to C primary. And lastly, we are assigning also with the same mixing, but C blue secondary to C primary variant. So what will happen now is when we reload the page, you will see that the styling of the button clicked is different. OK. Also, one change, one other uh, difference between these two approaches is that, for example, if you inspect the page here, you will see that the app has all these variables set up for you with the color variants. And what happens when we just use the C primary, you will see that the app will contain only this one variable. So this is the approach for the view based mm -hmm. project. For next based projects, in index.view, you will see the similar page right here. And instead of using hashtag app, we will use colon root and use the same mixings to make it work. So when we reload the page, you will see that all green accents are changed to blue. Even the button clicked. And that's it. This is how you and, extend the colors, override the colors. And this is something and this is something that you're going to see that's very similar to how you would set up a bootstrap project. So if you're familiar with how that color map works, this is going to be very familiar to you. Great. And so hopefully this answers a lot of like the basic questions about how to get your storefront UI project themed. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the description and the comments or reach out to us on Discord. 
the view storefront discord has a separate storefront ui channel dedicated to discussions about storefront ui and if you have any other topics that you'd like us to cover in these videos, we'll be linking a GitHub issue down below that you can go and just add comments to, and we're always checking that for new video ideas. Uh, along with that, we'll also add the um, Figma file that we shared earlier just to see if that's something you want to get started with or if you're a designer and you want to pick that up. And lastly, we'll also add the internal color map of the base storefront UI project if that helps you visualize how these colors are processed and what variants are created and how the mapping actually works internally. Uh, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.